I'm Jonathan Katz Moses, and today we're going to restore a vintage Stanley number three. Now, I've been kind of down on old hand planes in some of my past videos, but I had a client of mine who gave me his grandpa's hand plane. He's an older guy who's not going to use it anymore, and he gave me this hand plane that has really not seen a lot of use. It's got some surface rust on it, but all in all, it's in great condition. There's a website that has a flow chart on how to date your Stanley hand planes. I'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in looking up some on eBay. But this is actually a really fun process. I've done it a few times before. So let me show you how I go through the process. So the first step is going to be taking this thing apart and seeing what we're working with. And it's really simple. You just need a flathead screwdriver. Take apart the components here. It's a beautiful rosewood handle there. Take off the cap iron. Got the blade here. And the blade's in actually really good condition. And then we're gonna take off the frog, the rear tote, And this thing is looking like it's in pretty dang good condition. See, this is how you date a lot of Stanley hand planes is this date back here. And this is, of course, a Bailey number three. We need some white distilled vinegar. That's gonna be your best bet. I'm gonna use a plastic tub. I've got some vinegar in a spray bottle, some steel wool. We're gonna start by knocking off the surface rust and then getting these in to soak so that we can get some of the deeper stuff that's in here. Okay, so we've got everything cleaned off. It's looking really good. I'm going to dip everything in water to neutralize it, and later we'll oil everything so we don't get any more rust. I'm gonna start taping off the bed of my plane here so that we can repaint it black. And uh, then we'll get everything oiled up, put it together, throw some lacquer on the handles and get this thing put together. Uh, the one thing I would recommend to you when you're doing this is figure out which parts you care a lot about and which ones you don't, because things like the blade and the chip breaker, you wanna get a lot of the rust off, but you know, some of the screws, you don't have to get deep in the threads, that kind of thing. So once we get everything finished up, we're gonna go ahead and sharpen our blade and then give this thing a try. Now that we've got everything painted, it's time to sharpen this bad boy. As you can see, it's in pretty rough shape as a lot of planes really are when you get them. So this is gonna take a while. Luckily, I have a Tormek T8, which is gonna help us speed this along. But if you're gonna do this by hand, I recommend you uh, either try and get it close with a grinder first or just be ready for 25 minutes of sharpening. But let's get started on the Tormek and we'll, we'll put this together.
Wow, guys, this came out amazing. I am so excited about this. Now, like I've said in the past, I'm a big fan of buying new hand planes, but every once in a while, it's fun to do something like this. This is a rare number three. Uh, it was given it to me by a client and friend. John, thank you very much. And it really, it just was kind of a labor of love. It took about, I don't know, hour and a half to do, and it just came out cool. These old rosewood handles, they don't have these anymore. Uh, they just, uh, it's, they're stunning. They're absolutely stunning. So uh, go out on eBay. You can usually get a used plan, hand plane anywhere from 10 to 50 bucks off eBay. You can find them at auctions. You can find them on Craigslist, but uh, it's a fun project and it's a great way to do something that you're going to get a lot of enjoyment out when you use. So guys, stay safe in the shop. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.